right? So is he also teaching you that you got to keep God's laws? So you, so you know you're an Israelite, right? Give me the, the Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because because knowing that you're an Israelite is just a part of the story. Right. Because most of us, we grew up, we didn't know, and you're still pretty young. So it's, it's an excellent thing that you're learning that you're an Israelite at a young age. That's right. Because you knowing you're an Israelite and you start applying God's laws, you can... And you can you can avoid many heartaches that many of us had to face. Bring it on. Because you learned at a long, young age. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel. So it says, now Israel. Israel is a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. It says, so, oh, and now Israel, read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does your God require of you? What does your Father require of you as a nation? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to fear him. Read. To, to walk in his way. To walk in his way, meaning do what he tell us to do, read. And to love him. And to love him. Meaning our affection, our whole being, everything that we about is supposed to be about God's laws. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So everything, every 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 day when we wake up, we're supposed to be thinking about how can I serve my God today? How can I be pleasing to the most high God today? It's supposed to be our, everything we do. Yeah, we're going to go to work. Yeah, we're going to do things like that. But our whole, the whole purpose of us living is to do what the Bible tells us to do. That's Let's go right. further explain that. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord so and, his, read. and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So the Most High God requires of us as Israelites to keep his commandments. That's, That's right. right. So you're a young lady. I'm going to show you some scriptures, some commandments that you as a young lady are supposed to abide by. Read Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read up. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So the Bible says, read it again. Neither, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment that a man shouldn't wear? Huh? What is a garment? A garment is an article of clothing. Right. So the Bible says that the woman should not wear that which pertains to a man, and the man shouldn't put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment that, a, that men shouldn't wear? What is the article of clothing that men should not wear? Like panties, shorts, shorts, shirts, what else? Like, bra, what else? Makeup. Let me ask you this. When you go to a public bathroom, how do, how do you determine which is the men's bed restroom and which one is the women? Without looking at the letters. What do you know? What's the difference between the women's rest, the, the sign that's on the women's restroom and the sign that's on the men's restroom? Not the all gender restroom. What's the difference between the male and the female restroom? So on a female restroom, it has a figure that has a dress on. So the, 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 what it's reading, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So a woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. That woman's garment that it's talking about specifically is a dress. Uh, uh, women are supposed to wear dresses. Right. Men wear pants. Right. Because have you ever heard of the term, who wear the pants in the house? Who's supposed, to, who's supposed to wear the pants in the house? The man. The man is the head of the house. So women should not wear pants. Bring women are supposed to wear dresses. Bring it out. Read that again. But women shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Women should not wear that which pertains to a man. Why? Because when a woman put on pants, it put a manly spirit on her. Right. And that's what, that's what plays a lot of our communities. Because the women, the women are walking around acting like the men, and the men are running the streets acting like women. Emotional, shooting Bring everybody. To get every, everybody that say something to them, step on their shoe. They ready to shoot them and kill them. They ready to fight over little little stuff. Our men are over emotional because they've been raised outside of the Bible. Right. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertains but to a man. Uh huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you, as a young lady, you should have on a dress. That's the attire that the Most High God. That's the attire that he had. That's the uh, the dress code that the Most High God gave us. Right. That's right. Men wear pants. Women wear dresses. Right. Because that, that, contrary to what we see on the TV, why why it's spread today, you see a lot of men putting on dresses, 
we, women been wearing pants for decades. That's not right. Bring it up. That's incorrect according to God's laws. Right. Women should wear women. Women supposed to be wearing dresses, and our men are supposed to be wearing pants. Pants, because we are the the, the 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 cornerstones of the house. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it says all that all the men that are wearing dresses and all women that are wearing pants are an abomination to the Lord thy God. You know what abomination is? Abomination is something that's disgusting. The most I don't even want to see it. Get that in Sirach. The, mo the most I don't even want it in his presence. It's disgusting before him. So we can't, so a woman that's going to the Christian church, she got her own pants, and she call herself a prayer warrior. She going, the most high God ain't hearing her. Right. She's an abomination. Her prayer to him is disgusting. Read. Sirach chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hated all abomination. So it says the Lord hates all abomination. So women in pants, the most high God hates that. What? Men wearing dresses, the most high God hates it. He don't want to see it. He don't want to see your face. Don't even come to him until you change. So what the Bible is telling us, young mother, young sister, you learning how old are you? 13. You learning this at a very young age. So you have to go home and let your mother know, hey, don't buy me no more pants. I need to wear dresses because right. that's what my God want me to wear. A lot of our sisters and brothers will say, he going to put me to death because I don't got a beard. How you doing, my brother? His name is Mike. <clears throat> Mike. You never heard about you being an Israelite? <clears throat> you never heard about being an Israelite? Read that. Matthew chapter 5, verse 18. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass. So, this, so you're familiar with it? You're familiar with Christ? Say you're familiar with the Bible. This is Christ speaking. Somewhat. Well, we're going to educate you. Read. What jot or what tittle? Read, shall... read it again from the top. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. So Christ is saying, till heaven and earth pass. We still living on the earth. Right. Heaven is still there. We still seeing it. Read. What jot or what tittle shall in no wise pass from the law? So it says, not one jot, meaning no, not a comma or one tittle, not one period. It's going to pass from the law. Read. Till all be fulfilled. So everything that is written therein is fulfilled. Read. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. So it says whosoever break one of these least commandments. Read. And shall teach men so. And shall teach men so. Today, when a woman wearing a dress and not wearing pants, we would consider that as the least commandment. Other men wearing beard, we would consider that the least commandment. Well, let's see what Christ said. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So it says he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Meaning that you're not going to get in the kingdom of heaven. If you're breaking the least commandment, which is a woman wearing a woman wearing dresses, women wearing pants. If you're wearing pants, you're not getting the kingdom of God. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you feel, no matter what you think. Wow. The Bible don't say that. Bring it out. Let's get that. Let's read on. We'll finish that. But whosoever shall do and teach them. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. But when we do and teach them, and we teach them by actually doing them. Because a lot of, more people, they pay attention to what we do more than what we say. To scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.